Hi guys! Hi future DOSD scholars! This is Gerald Apostol of San Carlos City, Pangasinan. Ginawa ko itong video na to para makatulong sa inyo para mag isa kayo sa mga DOSD scholars in the near future. So, sa video na to, iisa-isahin natin kung ano ba yung mga general criteria of eligibility para makapag-exam sa Science and Technology Scholarship Examination, kung ano ba yung mga scholarship privileges or benefits kapag naging isang ganap na scholar ka na, kung ano ba yung mga documents na kailangan isubmit para makapag-exam ka, at kung ano ba yung coverage ng examination. Lahat ng yan, iisa-isahin natin sa buong video na to. So, let's get started! Sanayin muna natin yung types of scholarship na ina-offer ng Department of Science and Technology. So, una doon yung RA7687 or also known as Science and Technology Scholarship Act of 1994. So, ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng Republic Act 7687? Ang RA7687 ay nagpo-provide ng scholarship sa mga estudyante na mahirap, talented, at deserving. Sila yung mga estudyante na ang socioeconomic status ng pamilya nila ay hindi nag-exit doon sa mga indicators na sinet ng department. At yung mga qualifiers sa RA7687 are required to take science and technology priority courses. Yung pangalawa naman po is yung DOST SEI Merit Scholarship. Yung Merit Scholarship is also known as NSDB Scholarship under the Republic Act 2067. So yung RA2067 ay nag-a-award ng scholarship sa mga estudyante with high aptitude in science and mathematics na willing mag-person ng karirin nila sa science and technology. So yun yung dalawang types ng scholarship na ina-offer ng Department of Science and Technology sa mga estudyante na mag-e-enter pa lang ng college. Yung RA7687 tapos yung Merit Scholarship. Meron ako dito guys ng brochure ng Department of Science and Technology para sa 2020 scholarship examination. So kung gusto nyong magkaroon ng brochure na to, kasama ng application form para sa scholarship this 2020, pwede kayong bumisita sa mga pinakamalapit na Department of Science and Technology offices sa inyo, like regional office or provincial science and technology centers. Pero kung medyo malayo-layo yung mga offices sa inyo, you can download it at www.sei.dost.gov.ph So at the end of this video, makikita nyo yung exact link kung saan nyo pwedeng kunin yung application form together with this brochure. So, ang brochure na to, ang mga nilalaman niya is yung mga general criteria of eligibility, yung mga scholarship privileges, yung mga items na kailangan isubmit, yung examination coverage, yung... Okay, let us talk about the requirements para makapag-take ng DOST scholarship exam. Number one, kailangan you, you are natural born Filipino citizen. Number two, kailangan you are member of the STEM strand graduating class. Or, Kung hindi ka member ng STEM, kailangan you belong to the upper 5% of the non-STEM graduating class. Number 4, kailangan you are of good moral character. Number 5, kailangan you are in good health. And aside from that, kailangan mag-secure ng form from DOST, ng form na i-download or hihingiin sa mga DOST offices. You can download this at www.sei.dost.gov.ph So, ang kailangan ilagay dito sa form na to is your personal information, your family data, Nandito rin yung mga certificates na kailangan pirmahan ng guidance counselor, uh, school physician, school principal, your parent, barangay captain, and so on. And you, kailangan din ang signature mo dito. And then, aside from the form, kailangan mo rin mag-provide ng dalawang piraso ng one by one picture, photocopy ng birth certificate, parents income tax return, employment contract, birth, uh, BIR certification of exemption, eh, or barangay certificate of indigency. So kahit alin lang doon sa mga yun. So, kahit na ITR lang, or employment contract lang, or exemption lang, or yung certificate of indigency lang. Kahit isa lang doon, pwede na. Next, 3 months na resibo ng kuryente. So, kailangan mo mag-provide ng resibo ng 3 consecutive months ng electric bill. Okay? Next, mag-provide din ng document na naglalaman ng LRN mo, such as ID or card, LRN learner's reference number. So, Ano-ano nga ba yung mga scholarship privileges na makukuha mo pag naging DOST scholar ka? So, isa-isahin natin. Una, magkakaroon ka ng 40,000 per academic year na para sa tuition and other school fees mo. 40,000 per academic year. Pangalawa, magkakaroon ka ng 10,000 per year na book allowance. So, pang outright grant yun. So, pambili ng libro, 10,000 kada taon. Pangatlo, magkakaroon ka ng 1,000 pesos sa first year mo, first semester, na pambili ng uniform, PE uniform. Next, meron kang group insurance, premium group insurance. Kung sakaling mag-aaral ka sa labas ng probinsya mo, magbibigay sila ng transportation allowance. At ang transportation allowance na yun ay one economy round trip pair. Next, your monthly living allowance. So, 7,000 per month. Monthly kang bibigyan ng 7,000 ng Department of Science and Technology para sa iyong 
monthly living allowance. Next, kung sakali mang mayroong summer term sa course mo, mayroon din tinatawag na summer allowance. Aside doon sa monthly allowance na dalawang buwan na 7,000 per month, bibigyan ka rin ng 1,500 ng DOSD na pang tuition at book allowance na 500. Provided na may resibo ka doon. So, pag natapos mo na yung course mo, bibigyan ka rin ng DOSD ng graduation clothing allowance worth 1,000 pesos. So, yun lahat yung privileges na pwede mong mapuha pag naging scholar ka ng Department of Science and Technology. Let's talk about the examination coverage. Ano ba yung coverage ng examination? Ang coverage ng examination ay logical reasoning, science, mathematics. Uh, we have English, mechanical, and technical reasoning. And then we have the self-inventory. So yung anim na yun lang yung coverage ng examination. So, una, logical reasoning, science, mathematics, English, mechanical and technical, at saka self-inventory. So yun yung coverage ng DOSD scholarship examination. This is the end of my video, guys. Thank you so much sa panonood at sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to and alam ko na kanyang kaya nyo ipasa yung DOST Scholarship Examination. So, lagi nyo tatandaan, kung kinaya namin, kung kinaya ng iba, alam ko kakayanin nyo rin. So, that's all guys. This is Gerald Apostol again. See you when I see you guys. Bye!